Hi, welcome to November Favorites. This video is later than it should be, but that's okay because this is when I had time to do it. For November, I had a few things that I was really, really loving, so I'm just going to keep this short and sweet and just jump right in and show you. Actually, the first thing that I'm gonna tell you is a, technically it'd be a December favorite, but I just, I just want to talk about it in today's video, so I'm going to. And that thing is DIY Christmas sweaters, because I haven't had time to go get fun Christmas outfits, and Target had a 40% off all sweaters day, and I had another coupon on top of that, and I like coupons because I don't like spending tons of money. And so I got this gray sweater that you'll probably see a lot this month, but here is why. This favorite is DIY Christmas sweaters. So what that means is go to the dollar bin or dollar tree or any dollar store and find anything you can to make yourself festive. These stickers I picked up, they were in Target's dollar bin. They say fragile special delivery, do not open until December 25th, and Express North Pole Airmail. I don't know how that one got into my armpit. I think you went right here. I mean, obviously this isn't gonna last all day because they're moving around on me, but you know what? Even if it moves to your armpit, that's okay because in your armpit is festive. So DIY Christmas sweaters. What is not my favorite is this stray hair that is the same hair that keeps going across my neck all day. It's been driving me nuts. So that is technically a December favorite, but I'm putting it in my November favorites video because I can. My first favorite thing is this Gem Lights Original Color Wash Cleanse and Color. This specific one is for all browns, deep blondes, and gray virgin hair. It corrects brassy warm tones, cleanses, and color deposits. And it is great because I put highlights in my hair and then I covered them and then my hair kept turning this weird like orangey color. So this I shampoo with it. It does turn your hands black and it looks like you are bathing in charcoal when you shower with it, but it's like a bluish, grayish, really shiny color. I love it. If you have dark hair and you don't want any traces of red, use this over and over. They do also have any color you could possibly want. I mean like, like if you want lavender hair, there's a lavender shampoo. If you want bright purple hair, there's a bright purple. I currently am trying out the Vivid Blue on my sister-in-law, so we're just gonna keep washing her hair with it until she stains blue. So it's really cool, because you can have weekend purple hair and then wash it and it washes right back out. Eh, maybe it doesn't wash right out in the first wash, but it will come out in three or four washes, but it fades significantly every time. What I will say is don't use a nice towel or a white towel. I haven't washed my towel yet, that I use for my hair. It currently has really dark, almost black spots on it from wrapping my hair in it. So maybe don't use the best towel you have, otherwise it might ruin it. Especially if you're doing a color like red or they have an orange, they have anything. If you're using a bright color, especially like a red, don't use a nice towel. This is on my favorites list. Let me see if I can get it to not have a weird glare. There. My next favorite thing for hair is the Awapui Moisture Mist, which I know I've talked about in another video, but especially now that it's getting cold, the air is getting dry, you're getting staticky, but especially if you live in the constantly drier states like my family does, use this. It will keep the static at bay. It helps tame it down. You can also spray your skin with it, so I use it sometimes after I tan to spray my whole body to lock the moisture back in. This has been a lifesaver. As soon as my hair started turning staticky, I switched back to this product. This other product I've been using on myself and on clients and I've been loving it so far. Oh, my sweater's sticking to myself. It is the Verb Ghost Oil and it is absolutely amazing, amazing. And it is, it is an oil you can put from your scalp to your ends. If you have oily hair, maybe don't put it directly at your scalp. My hair is dry all over, so I definitely use more than probably the average person. But it is very weightless, it does leave your hair shiny, it is a heat protector, and that is great because some oils you put the oil on and then you curl it and then you crisco your hair. 
This one has heat protecting agents in it, so it will protect your hair from the heat instead of frying it. That's always great. Also, it is paraben, gluten, and sulfate free. So basically, I can put this in my hair and then go eat a sandwich and not worry about cross-contamination from my hair products. Nerds unite. Gluten nerds unite. If you're wondering where to get all of this stuff, I will post links down below in the description and you can check them out for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you have tried any of them and you like them, or let me know if you end up grabbing them, or if you have any questions about the products, let me know and I can try to answer you. Other hair things. This bow is super cute and my giant basketball shaped head normally doesn't like to hold hair bands, head bands, whatever they're called, because my head is so round, there's like, I don't have a parietal ridge to catch a headband on that's circular, so it just pops right up. But so far, this so far so good. I don't know if that's because this is looser and maybe it's not just so tight that it's pinching up, you know, you know? But I love it. My bestie got it for me. I don't know where she got it from. I should find out, I'm gonna text her. Because she got three of them, one for me, one for herself, and one for Oceana. And I love them. Let me see. So bows. I'm loving the bows because I can wear it all the way up from Christmas till New Year. Actually, you can wear it year round, but especially festive times, I like to wear things on my head during the festive months because I feel less like I'm going to be made fun of for looking like a giant baby with a bow on their head. Also, this is the only time of year that you can get away with wearing a crown and no one's going to say, who do you think you are? Why are you wearing a crown? You can say, oh, this is a Christmas crown. It's festive. It's okay to wear. Oh yeah, so we were watching, Jake and I were at home watching a documentary on the Queen of England and it was a really good documentary. I don't know what it's called. I think it was on Hulu. If not, it was on the History Channel app on the Apple TV, but we were watching it and every time she wore this certain shape of crown, like there were some crowns, it's like, oh, that's really pretty, whatever. But there's this certain shape of crown that I like, started salivating over. So I grabbed Jake's shoulder and I was like, I need that crown. And he's like, okay, okay, I know, calm down. I'm trying to watch a documentary. And then about 10 minutes later, she's wearing another crown that's the same shape. So I shook him again. I was like, I need that crown. And then he told me to calm down. But I like crowns. I like hair pieces. Anyways, back to being an adult, a sensible, not too hyper adult. Another thing I've been loving for November is two-toned eyeliner which means I put a dark eyeliner of a fun color on the top and a lighter shade on the bottom and the current ones that I'm wearing, I don't even know if you can see it. So what I have on right now, they're both NYX. On my top lashes, I have the SL09 Tropical Green. It actually slides on very well. Um, I wouldn't rub your eye because it slides on so well, it's gonna slide right off, but it's good for the day. <laughs> this is funny. So glide on, slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. And then in parentheses it says, this eyeliner is so good the name had to be this long. And that makes me laugh because that's how I type or tweet or say a lot of my things because I'm weird. I don't know. The one I have on the bottom is the 939 Green Shimmer. It is an eyebrow, it's an eye and eyebrow pencil, which it's glittery, so I love it, except um, what I will say is that when I was trying to put it on, it felt like it was stabbing my eye because the glitter flecks, I think, were just, oopsie. The glitter flecks, I think, were just digging into my skin. It doesn't glide on very easily at all, so if you can heat it up a little bit and don't burn your eye, but heat it up and then so it kind of melts and then swipe it on, it'll probably make it a lot easier. It's a fun color once it actually does get on your skin. I did have to put a few layers though. Eyeliner, darker one on the top, lighter one on the bottom, and then call it a day. Maybe put mascara on, but that's about it. That's all you need. All a girl needs in life. If you're on a desert island and you're going to not have any other makeup, always choose mascara. For me at least, that's what I would choose. Now I'm gonna move on to my skin. I love lotion. Oh my gosh, lotion is everything. But you don't wanna get a lotion that is going to give you cancer. I know, I know, everything gives you cancer, whatever. Your skin is your biggest organ, so you wanna make sure your lotion is a good quality so that you're not soaking in a ton of chemicals on your major organ. And for me, I go through so much lotion that buying little tubes of healthier lotion is 
just way too pricey. I do it and I don't buy them all the time, but then I came across this Everyone Lotion for Everybody 3-in-1 Hand, Face, and Body. It is a non-GMO lotion made with plant extracts and scented with pure essential oils. I wasn't too fond of some of the other smells, but this one is coconut lemon, which at first, let me spit it this way, which at first kind of sounded like a weird scent, but it smells really good. It is gluten-free, cruelty-free, non-GMO, and this cost me $10. $10 is great because my other tube of lotion, which is like a quarter of the size of this, was like $17. So this one, also it has a pump. I can use it after the shower, put it on my whole body. It lasts forever. It lasts. It has lasted forever, and it's very affordable. I know they sell this brand at Target. I haven't seen the giant pumps at Target yet but this one I got at a local health food store. So if you have a Sprouts or a Whole Foods or whatever local health store near you, they probably have this. Otherwise, you can probably find it on Amazon. You can find everything on Amazon. Who am I kidding? Hey, my bestie texted me. Bestie texty. Bestie texty. I need to get a life. Oh, she got these at Dollar Tree. Oh, that's fun. Dollar Tree, you can buy headbands like this at Dollar Tree. They're also, I don't know if you can see it, but it is flat silver with, um, silver glittered polka dots and then we have a gold one that is gold with glitter polka dots and black and the same it's black with black glitter polka dots and they're super cute so dollar tree that's where you can get them i have really been loving these natura care natra technically they're intimate wipes they are certified organic cotton and the ingredients are paraben free chlorine free the wipes themselves are biodegradable they are actually excellent to use on your face they do great at removing your makeup, and you also know that you're not putting a bunch of chemicals in your skin, especially the skin of your face, that you don't want to wrinkle as you age, and you just it's just so gentle, and the cotton is really soft, and also you just want to know that you're not putting a bunch of chemicals in your intimate areas. And, and I use these sometimes when I work out. If I work out and I don't have time to shower, then I use these on my armpits, because they work really, really well. They have, they have a very gentle scent and I just really like them. You only get 12 wipes, which they go pretty quickly and they're about $7 a pack. So not the most cost effective, but to me it's worth it. I'd rather pay to have good quality. Also, what I like to do with these is I like to take half of the strips and cut them into small, like one inch thick strips and I use those just to get rid of my eye makeup. Um, like, you know, when you take a shower and you wash your face and you do all this makeup remover and you still have mascara caked underneath there, well, you don't wanna waste a whole really expensive wipe on that one swipe. So I cut them into strips and put them in a Ziploc bag. Then you have tiny little strips just to get that mascara to go away. So that's, that's what I do, but I've really been loving these. I've gone through a lot of them because I started personal training and I'm very sweaty and sometimes I don't have time to shower. So these are what I use. I actually found these things that I'm going to talk about, I wanna say like a year or two ago and Ilea and I loved them. And then we could not find them anywhere. We looked at every grocery store we ever go to and they just, dis like I bought them once and then they disappeared off the face of the planet and we were so sad. Well, then I was at Hy-Vee and I saw them on the shelf and I grabbed one box of each because they have lemon and lime. So what it is, is it is crystallized lime that you put in your water and one packet is equivalent to one lime wedge or lemon, depending on which flavor you get. Now this True Lime brand has like lemonade and limeade packets. We found those at every store you could ever go to, but we couldn't find the ones that are just, just crystallized lime. Like I don't really want a lot of sugar. Sometimes I don't wanna, sometimes I don't wanna peel a lemon and put it in my water like I usually do. Which by the way, when I peel a lemon like an orange and put it in my water because I don't like the waxy peel taste, you'd be surprised that all of the people that have asked me if I had an onion in my water, it's like, why would I put an onion in my water? Why would I do that to myself? But no, it's a lemon. If you ever see me with something strange in my cup, it's probably just a naked lemon. When I'm too lazy to peel it, or like today when I have this cut on my finger, <laughs> and I don't wanna peel a lemon or a lime because the juice is gonna burn it, I use these tiny little crystallized lime packets. Um, this box comes in 32, 
and I mean, I'm used to having an entire lemon in my water, so, or lime, an entire lime in my water. So I end up using like four packets for one cup, which, oh, I'll show you this. I did find another thing that I love. This is not a November favorite. This is a year round favorite. My Starbucks glass water cup because I swear I'm like a baby with a sippy cup. If I don't have this cup, I don't drink water at all in the day. But if I have this cup, then I'll drink like seven of these, which I think one time I measured it out like six or seven or eight or something of these is a gallon of water a day. So as long as I have this, and as long as I have some type of citrus for my water, then I'll drink a gallon a day easily, which is also really good for these dry winter months. So those are my favorite things. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed watching me ramble for a very long time. If you liked it, please hit thumbs up. I would really like it if you subscribe to my channel. Check out the rest of this month of December. I'm attempting to do Vlogmas 2016, so I'm trying to vlog not every day, but I'm trying to vlog more than I ever have before in one month because what happens is I start to vlog, then I get busy, then I only do half a day, then there's there's just no point to it because I forget. So I'm trying to really stay on the ball with all of those things. So Merry Christmas to you and Happy Holidays to you and Happy End of the Year Month to you. Do your thing. Fulfill your dreams. Get your stuff done. We only have less than a month left for this year and lots to do. So do it. I believe in you. Bye.